morning look at my lips i had a cold sore and the children have just gone back to school i am very very excited um i needed a break because the house was just a mess i couldn't keep up with cleaning and you need to entertain them and all of that really feel drain you can see for my cold sore um it hasn't been very good um month i mean they had fun we did a lot of things just too tiring now i needed them to go so i'm really really excited that they are going back again today i'm recording on my phone i just wanted to see how the quality of my phone is going to be um so yeah normally i record on my camera so today it's going to be my phone and i'll edit it and we'll see how the quality is going to be but yeah i'm just gonna have a cup of tea i might just take my sister to the shop to go and do some shopping yeah i'm gonna have breakfast i'm not too sure what to have for breakfast but yeah let's go and see what we can find in the kitchen and what we can eat for breakfast this morning to do our shopping now and it's raining winter so much but if you're going abroad i'm going abroad i might get it for my holiday <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about um some of the things we think you cannot survive in the uk or in a foreign country with if you don't know how to do so if you don't know how to do some of these things, then the UK or any foreign country is not for you, especially if you are an African or like grew up with a different tradition apart from the UK tradition. Everything you did as a child is not the same as the UK. Then you struggle when you move to the UK or any foreign country. Okay. And the first one I wanted to say is you cannot survive in a foreign land or in the UK if you don't know how to cook the reason being that if you don't know how to cook maybe then your idea is to want to be on a weight loss journey because you lose weight you'll be miserable and you will not enjoy it a lot of people are hungry because they don't know how to cook i mean the shops are making life easier now trying to make the food very diverse but the taste of it is not the same as the authentic T city back home so you might get like a feel of it but it's not a hundred percent just like i was told by an 
an Indian person, the curry they have here in the UK is not the same as the one in India because their flavors and their spice are extremely different. So I think the next thing you can think about is like help and support. Right? Help and support? Yes. Okay. So, assuming you are a family lady or man, mm -hmm. uh, back then in your country, you have all the support where you have your families and in case you need any support in hand, mm -hmm. you get it easy. But when you move to a foreign land, you wouldn't have that. No one to rely on, no one to assist, no one to help you with the helping hand when it comes to taking care of your kids and the rest. So, and here, what the most important thing you need to be thinking about is to try to build a network, network where you share ideas, network where you can support each other, right? in order to survive because uh, honestly you can't do it all you are not a superhuman being so everyone needs someone everyone needs a support so that is what i have identified to be one one other thing yeah. so she's saying the next thing that she has identified is support network if you don't have support the uk is not for you okay if you're the type of person who is happy staying in the house by yourself and you know how to cook and you are happy being on your own and you can do everything by yourself then you don't have any problem but if you have children you know i know a few people who have five children you know four children even three we are brave i don't know how we survive having three children and you don't have any support my sister has seen the struggle of like school rounds and cleaning and cooking and all of that gosh if you don't have support network please do not think about moving to a foreign country it will break your marriage it will break your children it will break everything the next thing i'm going to say is health some people will agree with me other people will not agree with me but i'll say if you don't have a good health don't move abroad because sometimes we rely and trust the healthcare system here in foreign countries so much okay but something you need to be aware of is the amazing 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 but however the nhs is overloaded with people and for you to get the care you need you have to fight everyone the waiting list alone is about two years if you are lucky and i'm not joking because i've been in it few times i have to go to the hospital with a team of people you know who are like fighting my corner they're like doctor no no you have to push this appointment and i have to have like high professionals that are friends that will literally try and fight because they can see how much i'm struggling you know people say it's better abroad you know blah 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 you know i'm telling you guys if you don't have the health don't do it at least in your country wherever you are coming from you can pay and get private health insurance or private care and the private care they will look into your blast do everything that you need if you get a good doctor okay but here even when you have the money sometimes you have to wait wait and wait and by the time you realize it's also a contributing factor to why a lot of things has happened to you we have identified a lot of things but the most important ones that we wanted to speak about is support network if you don't have a support network do not move to a foreign country if you do not know how to cook do not move to a foreign country if you don't have a good health do not move to a foreign country another one i wanted to speak about is do not move to a countryside don't move to countryside if you don't have these three together you're moving to a countryside where things are limited buses and food and social network and everything is limited you are now coming to like trying to form your own social network if you move abroad and you move to a countryside that is even 
dead zone finish all our activity for today i've done my shopping as you've seen i'm just gonna get dinner cooked thank you for hanging out with me i just decided to record on my phone today just to see how easy it's going to be for me also as as much as i love my camera which i adore i also find it very difficult to sometimes upload videos record and also edit on it because i have to transfer from one area to the other but in a day just in a day i've actually done a whole video without having to download or edit or anything like that so if you see this video it was recorded on my phone and i think i've done a great job what do you think about it thank you all for hanging out with me today and i shall see you in my next video please do not forget to like and subscribe bye